why are you, what, what is going on here? There we go. I think we just shut down this eBay page chat because so many of us clicked on it all at once. No, that's not a real one. This isn't a real controller. Yeah, this isn't a, this is a fake controller. This is the one I bought. That's how I know. The real ones don't have um, Mario RPG on the box. The real ones have here. This is, I mean, this one might be. This one, this one actually might be. Yeah. Yeah, that that's the one I was just looking at. Nintendo Authentic Official OEM. I mean, this one looks legit, actually, chat. Like, it's even got that little knob. It's even got the little knob that they were hanging it on on the Toys R Us. Um... Man, I don't want to create an account for eBay right now. Okay. Am I going to risk it? I think maybe. I think maybe I'm going to risk it. Yeah, KB Toys. That came right off of KB Toys. I don't have an eBay account? No. They'll send me the money if it's fake. Uh, I mean, I don't need you to repay me. I've been scammed before. It wouldn't wouldn't be my last last time getting scammed. You have a PS2 DualShock from Sony, still new in package. Oh, keep it, man. Hold on to that, dude. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna. Try and buy that one, chat, actually. Spaniel, I'm sending this to you just because it, you're the first one to DM me and I needed that link. Uh... I mean, uh, just holding the link for me. Yeah, you're just you're a link holder. You're a link holder. Uh, just make a video about it and write it off a text chat. I would literally. It's a controller. It's literally like you. If you were, if I was in construction, that'd be like buying a fucking hammer. What do you mean? Like it's, it's a. Yeah, not even that. It's not even that big a deal. Green chili. Thank you for a lot of months. Yeah. Hold my, hold my link. Hold my link. Chat, this is Baron of Shell. A lot of people have asked me, hey, who, when are you going to play? When are you going to play? I don't know, I'm not going to play Dead Space today, actually, yeah, because I'm just giving my kids a
because um, they're in the room with no no windows, so I can't watch them anyway. Just get out a bunch of old ladies that look at me weird. Um, is the game with Chris Pratt? Yes, this game has Chris Pratt in it. Um, this is a... The music's a bit loud? Good. Good. Good, because this thing's fucking jamming. This song's rocking. Are you kidding me? Ah! Sorry, I'll turn it down. I'll turn it down. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Chad, I haven't played uh, Super Mario World all summer long. Where's my phone? Probably look and see if there's anyone. Literally, literally have not, literally have not looked at. I started a TikTok stream and then didn't look and see if there's anyone. Oh, there's no one there. It's not even a big deal. Uh, 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 uh. The floor, probably. I know. Nice hack to ease back into. Uh, yeah. I just figured, like, since I haven't played a hack all summer, um, I figured I would just grab um a really, really, really hard shell hack. Dude, this song fucking bangs so hard. Why does this song bang so fucking hard right now? Uh, ah, ah, I've never been more hyped. Holy fuck, I'm so hyped for this game right now. Uh, 8-Bit McGordon is from Doom. It's so bang. Nobody's on TikTok as you all jump over here when you see it. That works for me. Yeah, I really don't know. Like, it really doesn't matter, I guess. Like, you know, because if people watch on TikTok or not, you know what I mean? Like, it's just free stream. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Uh, what was I saying? I need to uh, start. Uh, we'll erase the data. I just, I, I started yesterday to make sure colors looked right because my colors were all fucked up when I tried putting all my shit back together. Bum, 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 bum. You all ready? Is everyone ready? Um, let's go. Um, wait, shell jumps 101. No, let's go to the. No, let's go back. Let's go back. I need to do the. I need to do the. Um, what's it called? The tutorial. Yes, I saw that. I saw Doctor Seal's DM. Um, I thought I replied Pog, but I'm pretty sure I just typed it in and didn't reply. Okay, I can still shell jump. Congratulations on your first shell jump in the hack. There will be many more to follow with many different setups. You can start select to leave any level and all midways are immediately saved. Sweet. In this room, there are pipes that take you to various helpful tutorials. This pipe summarizes the custom blocks and sprites that are used in this hack. Hey, why not? Let's do it. Did I just, did I just, uh, did I just get a frame perfect wall jump? Okay, they can go through that. I can't. I can go through this. They get stuck in that. I don't. I'm assuming this kills me. Yes. Did y'all just see that beautiful shame, uh, frame perfect jump? Oh. Okay. You just you just kill that thing. Okay, so that kills me too. All right. So all skulls are death. Chat. That just disappears everything. Sweet, love those blocks. Um, okay, cool. Um, I'm assuming this one, yeah. All right, those are normal. Oh wait, is this, because they'll bounce off that, hold on. I just want to make sure, I just want to make sure, chat. All right. Wow, it really is useful here. Can I put this? When are we getting shelmets? When when are we getting shelmets in Super Mario World? Mark, are you in chat? Wait, what is this one for? Yeah, I get it. One.
Uh, this pipe leads to a series of challenging rooms that test your shell knowledge. There's no return until the end. All right, well, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait. All right. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Nope. Nope. I got fat thumbs. I got fat thumbs. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, which Pokemon is this? Tutorials fire for real though? Oh, that was just... This is going to be a long hack. Oh, this is going to be a great hack. Almost past the tutorial. I need to do a smaller jump. No, did I end up with a uh, Mon before the weekend? No, I did not end up with a Mon before the weekend. Um, wait. Okay. That was a up. That was an up button. Oh man. This is the perfect hack to get me back in. You miss the music? What do you mean you miss the music? Can you not hear the music? What the fuck? Oh, okay, I get. Oh, the title screen music? Don't worry, we'll get we'll get we'll get back to it. Um Is this just a double? This is just a double. I love Mario World chat. <laughs> I love Mario World so much. Whoops. Probably shot that the wrong way. Music's a tad quiet. I feel like it's just quiet in this area. Oh, okay. What am I doing right here? Wait, what does it want me to do here? Okay. I know what I want to do. Like that? You just want me to do that one? I guess. I guess. Um... Just for the record, this is not a shell move. I just want to point that out. Yeah, I just want to point that out. It's been a... Yeah, chat. This is perfect for me because I need to get back in ROM hack shape. We've been... We've been... We've been... Uh, doing a bunch of fucking... Wait, does it want me to do a... Just a drop or does it want me to do a... One of these? Yeah, we need a nice easy warm up. Uh, Barb made a candy tier list and had Reese's and Sour Patch S tier. Oh, Reese's definitely S tier. Yeah, Reese's absolutely S tier. Sour Patch Kids? Uh, I mean, I like Sour Patch Kids, but... Yeah. Uh, the picture looks kind of dim. That's just how my capture card comes up. Does this just want me to drop this? Like that? Is that what it's wanting me to do? Or does it want me to do a, one of those fancy ones? Uh, Reese's. Like how it's pronounced in the commercials. Yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know what that means. All my joys suck. Yeah. 
my my candy tier list would be pretty shitty because I don't like chocolate chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's pronounced Reese's. Y'all are insane. Listen, I'm saying the same thing y'all are saying. You guys are just being dicks about it. You know? What do I want to do there? What am I doing here? I want to shoot... Okay. I want to shoot the red one, right? Yeah, the red one I want to shell jump off of. And yet I keep screwing that up. Yeah, the blue one's got a Koopa. Oh, so I can I can shoot I can hold on to this shell and Okay, so we're good. We're good. We don't even need to let go of the shells here. This is easier than I thought it was, chat, because Ah, uh, the shells do not kill each other. Oh, come on. You cannot wait until the day after Halloween. You're going to buy so much discounted candy. Come on, get me high enough. Can't get high enough on this. You love Diabetes Day? Is that what you call it? Yeah, I just, I just don't, I don't need to buy candy. I just steal my kids' candy. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I'm just gonna do this. This is gonna be easier. Oh yeah, cause they don't even, they don't even hit each other in the air. These shells. This is kind of, this isn't even fair, honestly. All right. Parents have to check the candy first. Oh, where'd you go? Wait, that's not what I want to do. I know, I know, I'm excited about this. What? I, I don't get what I'm doing. I, I don't get what I'm doing on this one, though. Like, clearly, this is not what I want to do. Like, clearly, I need to throw that one up. All right, hold on. Oh, you bitch. That's what I want to do. You saw me racing Bothurst a while back. You just got back from real Bothurst. That's because American chocolate isn't good. Stop stop hating on everything American um, American food. It's not our fault. We let them put ass in our food so they can make a little bit more money. <laughs> not all of us love living by corporations' greed. Yes. <laughs> ass in your food? Listen, if you don't have ass in your diet in 2022, all right? You suck. Let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you still fucking up? This is a weird jump right here, you know? This is a very, very weird jump because usually the shells would hit off each other. This isn't stressful to watch at all. Oh, there we go. Hold on. I just need to hold jump longer. Oh. 
Uh... Oh, you bitch. Ass supplements? Is that what you said? Uh, maybe shells... Oh, what are we grinding for later? Uh, we're gonna be playing Pokemon later. As usual. Yay, I don't suck anymore. What if I just jumped off there? Uh... No. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, I went too fast. What hack is this? This is Baron of Shell. I haven't played I haven't played Mario World in a hot minute though, so What am I doing on this one? Am I just trying to hit this into this? That's kind of jank. That was, yo, real shot, real talk, chat. That was kind of jank. I'm sorry. That was a little. That was a little shisty. What the fuck happened there? Why did I get a shell? This hack's gonna be a ride. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of stuff that wouldn't happen in regular Mario World in this hack, but I'm here for it. Alright, let's leave. Let's leave. I guess I gotta start select out. You've played Mario World never time a uh, number of times and never seen this level. Are you sure you've played it that many times then? Uh here we go. Yeah, this is so chat. Alright. So to unlock this in Mario World, you have to y'all really not know about this? Yeah, especially if y'all are on out of there like on the TikToks and stuff. Like, you have to uh straight up get all the secret levels, right? Unlock the fall, and then you gotta put in a code. Yeah, then you gotta put in a code. Then you gotta hook your Super Nintendo up to the satellite view, and it downloads it for you. Oh, fuck, okay. This is gonna be a hot minute, chat. Let's just, might as well get comfy. See, now why did those two collide? Yeah, that I don't get. Why did these two collide? The same color? Am I trying to drop this one? What am I even doing with this fucking shell? This is some bullshit. This is... Yeah, I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a love hate with this. What am I even doing with this fucking shell right here? This doesn't even make sense. And then I want to get. Okay, so I want to throw that one up. All right. Well, that didn't work. What do I want to do with the second one after I grab it? You heard I press start select. There's so much happening already. Okay, I think I understand. I think I understand what I'm supposed to do. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna drop the shell. I need to get, okay, I think I get it. I think I get it right here, chat. I'm gonna drop the shell uh, onto the next platform. 
Oh, I didn't get it. See, I wanted to drop the shell and have that turtle stop it. But that didn't work. Okay, new plan, new plan. We're gonna throw this shell, that second shell that I'm throwing up, we're gonna throw that against the death blocks. Yeah, we're gonna throw that against the death blocks. That feels right. It was a valiant effort. Well, this is kind of gonna be a, like, this is definitely going to be a learning tutorial. Are you missing part of the screen? The retries off the screen? Whoa. Are you? Oh. That. Don't tell anyone I did this. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. Nobody say anything. Oh. Say what about what? No snitches. Ooh, okay, hold on. Oh, or we just throw it up again. Okay, throwing it up might actually just work. Yeah, throwing it up twice might just work. Uh, maybe not. I feel like I definitely need to bounce off that fucker. Like that, you know? Uh, the instruction manual? No, it teaches you how to throw up, throw shells up in the instruction manual. Mm. This is the start? Yeah, this is the first level. Chat, I picked a really, 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 really hard hack to come back to. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think he's gonna, is this guy gonna stop that shell anyway? Baron of shells harder than Cassio in your opinion? Fun. Uh, is the timer pause? Oh, whoops. This is how long. Yeah, don't worry. We just started the level. I don't know what we're doing here. What hack is this? Looks strange. Mario familiar? Shell in this shell a shell hack without a indicator is kind of a puzzle hack. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Mario looks taller. What's up with Shut up! You don't know he doesn't? Mario looks exactly how the same height he's looked for everybody, every stream you've ever seen Mario on. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got the timing, chat. Yeah, I think I got the timing. Hold on. Um, and then I want to do another up throw. Okay, all right. Oh, up, oh, a button. Hey, it's a me, a Mario. You are, and those squares look weird, like more of long. What's going on here, Something that you guys would have never noticed if I didn't do it in front of you. 
Ah, I fucked up. No snitches. Snitches get stitches. Oh, come on. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. <coughs> oh, come on. Catch that fucking shell, you piece of shit. You piece of fucking shit, Mario. Yeah, I did. Um, am I... I mean, Chris Pratt's voice isn't my favorite voice, but it's not going to ruin the movie for me. I didn't think it was... Listen, the Chris Pratt voice isn't as bad as I thought the Chris Pratt voice was going to be. He sounds like Chris Pratt doing a... Um, uh, I don't want to be in trouble... In trouble for being a stereotypical Italian, but I'm still Italian voice. You know what I mean? And the problem is they showed Jack Black first. They should have just showed, they should have given us um, Chris Pratt first. Yeah. Well, maybe his voice chat is based on Lou Albano's voice. You know, there's been more than one Mario. You guys, you guys aren't giving Lou Albano enough credit here. The internet was gonna be upset no matter what it was. Um, probably. It was going to be hard. It was going to be pretty hard for Chris Pratt to, to do that role. I mean, but I don't really know who they could have got to do the voice of Mario that we would have been happy about. Oh. Definitely not Chris Pratt, but, you know, like... Chris Pratt also just, like, he already voices, like... Too many other things. Other than Charles Mar... Charles... I... Okay, if they did Charles uh, Marinara, um, which I would have been totally okay with, they would have had to do him... It would have had to be very sparingly. Like, Mario wouldn't have been the star of the movie. You know what I mean? Danny DeVito? Hey, Luigi! I got my gun. Just start shooting. Luigi, you want an egg? Oh, come on. John Leguizamo? He's already Luigi, dude. Joe Pesci? He's gonna stab people with a pen? Oh, come the fuck on. I hate up, up, uh, up throws. Uh, I think Charles Marinette, uh, Charles, uh, Marinette does a great Mario. Incredible Mario. It's the Mario we know and love. It's been Mario since Mario 64. It's many, many years now of that Mario. We love it. Um, however, the problem with that Mario... Dude, I think I need to change controllers. This controller's bad. getting so many no i'm well the up throw all those up throws i definitely can blame the controller for yeah um he's a well he's is in the movie it's not like he's not in the movie you know what i mean yeah this controller is way better who had blame controller on their bingo card you know what fuck you all um i just said this controller is way better Y'all don't, y'all, if y'all, listen, listen, that's like, y'all are, y'all sound like when you talk to professional bowlers and you're like, what do you need more than one ball for? All right. Shit just doesn't always work. You think they're going to make a cut with where Charles Marinet does all the voice acting? Uh, you met him at Comic-Con. He's just as nice as you think he is. I feel like voice actor celebrities are probably some of the nicest because they have a big benefit of like only being famous when they want to. And then when they are, it's ultra famous. Guys, it's not Clearly this is a hack. Look 
looked at the image distortion of the sprite. <laughs> Uh, do I want to just shell jump forward? I'm not sure what I do there. Yeah, I'm not sure what I do that on this one. Yeah, I feel like his voice would be like, what if they got to have a real conversation? Ah, oh, the peach. I just don't know about this political outcome. I think that's kind of the problem, is like that voice just to... But, I mean, like, also, like... I don't want a game, though. I don't want him to not be the voice actor of the game now, which is... Now that Mario has a... A canon voice, it's a little bit, like... That's not how it works. They're not stretched for me. Yeah, they're not stretched for me. Uh, did I see the French voice clip? Yeah, he sounds great. That voice actor sounds incredible. Yeah, I would assume Game Mario will still be Charles Marinara Sauce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do I see? Yeah, the problem here is figuring... The problem in this game is just figuring out what the fuck to do. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck to do here. Uh, so we grab the shell, and then, I mean, I felt like that was right. Uh, Bender is bored, thank you for 20 months. Oh, I'm dead. Kill the Koopa? Your conspiracy theory is that Odyssey 2's been delayed so they can make Mario sound like Chris Pratt? Mm. Well, the Captain Lou Albano show got canceled, and Captain Lou Albano is a man of questionable character. I don't really know what to do there. I'm not sure how to handle that spot, chat. I think I think I'm overthinking that spot already, and it's probably something super simple. Like this. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it was something super simple. I'm trying to I'm trying really hard chat to stop overthinking things i think years of playing really complicated mario has made me feel like everything's supposed to be super complicated uh fuck me progress yeah but i mean it's not like i think the thing is is that do i think chris pratt's voice is the best Mario voice? No. Do I think it's in the top 50% of Mario voices I would like to hear? Probably not. No. But Toad's voice sounded great. Luigi's literally going to sound great as, as just Charlie Day. That's fine. I don't even need anything other than that. Bowser sounds incredible. Um, I would imagine... I don't know what... I really have no expectations for Peach. Like, I just... You know... I think it's, I think that, do I think Chris Pratt's going to be, is he going to add to the movie? No, but he's not going to take away from the movie to the point that I'm not going to watch it or something. I There's a good chance, a good strong chance that the entire movie is more Bowser focused too. The Bowser looks more like Jack Black than Jack Black does. Oh, come on. People do have a hate boner for Chris Pratt. And to be fair, I mean, it's because of the, uh, you know, perceived. 
hate boners he does. Seth Rogen's Donkey Kong? I would really like to hear Seth Rogen's Donkey Kong, but I feel like here's the thing. In my mind, Donkey Kong is a stoner, so I feel like that's going to be a hitter. Yeah. I also think, like, I I think we have Chris Pratt fatigue, chat. I think that happens a lot with actors where it's just like, fuck, they're, they're goddamn and everything. The guy's Lego. He's Star-Lord. It's just, I get it. Oh. Yeah. So... Mm. Jurassic World. It's goddamn everything. Kind of like The Rock, except Chris Pratt has one-tenth the charisma of The Rock. Does that make sense? And I think, and honestly, I think uh, Chris Pratt, my brother-in-law met him in a club in Tahoe once. And he was incredible. And for the record, otherworldly nice, chat. Otherworldly nice. To give you an idea of how nice Chris Pratt was in this club, my brother is sitting at the bar. Oh, so he's sitting at the bar getting a drink. I've missed that. He's sitting at the bar getting a drink. He looks to his left and he looks to his left and is like, man, that guy looks like Chris Pratt. And then he goes back down. He looks back and he's like, holy shit, that is Chris Pratt. And he goes, hey, you're Chris Pratt. And he goes, I am. And then they, they talk. He was there for his buddies. Um, he was in Tahoe for his buddies' um, bachelor party. They were going hunting uh, down in Nevada. You know, yada, 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 right? So they take a picture in the club. They take a picture in the club. Chris Pat looks at it and says, no, nah, that's not a good enough one. We need our whole bodies here. You know, like they need to know, like he takes off his hat so that everyone got it, got him a good picture and then went about his way, right? So that was like, you know, there's something to be said. There's something to be said. I don't, didn't he, didn't he come out and say he's not part of that church? He came out and said he's not part of that, though. Like, he had a big interview where he's like, fuck those people. I totally agree. I, 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 I just don't know. I think we have... I've heard a lot of people... We've complained about Chris Pratt enough. We need to offer some alternative casting that I think would actually work today, you know? He did come out against all those people. Yeah. The actual voice of Mario? I don't think that would work for two hours of movie. But then again, I don't know how much dialogue Mario has in this movie. It's entirely possible that Mario doesn't talk a lot in this movie, you know? Me as Mario? Fuck no. It's a, it's a me, a Mario. Yeah, it's a me, a Mario. James Gandolfini is Mario? <laughs> I mean, yeah, outside of him being dead, um, I don't know. Like, Mario's just huffing and puffing every time he makes a jump. Oh, come on! I tried to switch over to the regular jump. Y'all keep going with Joe Pesci and Danny DeVito, and I don't know why. Other than they're little fat men. Yeah. Al Pacino? My, I literally, literally everyone under 20 is like, who are these people? Christopher Walken is Mario? Bowser, I mean, I just, I don't understand why you're turning all these toads into bricks. I have a horrible Christopher Walken, just for the record. And I should have spin jump. Yeah, I should have spin jump. But we gotta cast someone else. Ryan Reynolds is Mario. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't want, bro I don't want to, I don't want to fuck Mario. Okay. I don't want to feel like I need to fuck Mario. Adam Scott is Mario? Actually, that, that one might have worked. That one actually might have worked. Oh. 
Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool, and I don't care if he's anything else ever again. Yeah, he's already Pikachu, I was gonna say. Ryan Reynolds is fucking Pikachu, he's the brand. Pikachu's a bigger deal than Mario. That's a bigger voice acting job, in my opinion. Oh, come on, you bitch. Just have Jack Black do both? That's not a bad idea! That's not a bad idea. Do I think there'll ever be a Mario and Sonic collab movie? Uh, probably not, just because they're different studios. Uh, but man, a Mario and Sonic at the Olympics movie? Come on. That would be a banger. Uh, I mean, there's rumor of a Smash Brothers movie. What? What the fuck am I doing on this level? Um, so I'm gonna do a regular shell jump off the on-off switches. And then I have no idea how I'm getting over. I have no idea how I'm getting over after that. Honestly. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm gonna get back. Jonah Hill? It's really hard, because you need to hear their slightly Italian accents, right? I I think it's a hard it's a hard movie to cast, chat. But I'm guessing that they didn't hear <laughs> Honestly, I'm guessing they didn't hear Chris Pratt's Mario. forecasting him so Josh Gad okay actually yeah Josh Gad I think would have absolutely yeah okay all right you know what that one I'm that one actually yes I will I will actually fucking absolutely give you Josh Gad would have been fucking great yeah Oh, he could probably he could probably pull out a great voice for it. Yeah, I actually yeah. I think it might have hit that perfect like in between Charles Marinet and you know a fat Italian plumber. Uh, oh, oh, we good? We good? All right, Josh Gad for Mario. Mark it down. Josh Gad is Olaf. Yeah, but he would do a different voice. That was a good level. Good level. Those long jumps give you stress? Wasn't even that long. That was a good level. That was a really fun level. How many levels are there? No idea. What was that level called? Blue Dawn? This is called Naraka? This music gets you off? That is one way to describe music, I would say. That is one way to describe it. <laughs> okay. What am I doing here? What the fuck? Oh my god, this this game's this game's fucking sick. Oh. Well, I don't know what to do there. Okay, I see. Yeah, this game is cool. This has cool shell jumps. Obviously, a shell is gonna drop. Yeah, how could you? You obviously a shell is gonna drop there.
Who voices the Penguin King? Cheech Marion is Mario? Just like a stoned Mario? Oh, pfft, I fell off. I mean, that'd be one way to do it, I guess. I'm an idiot. Uh, Tommy Chong is Luigi. I mean, Luigi is both in canon, uh, like a badass and a pussy, right? Like in canon, he's both, he's both very strong and also a bit of a wuss, right? Um, God! Oh my God, that was a long blind rally. That was a very long blind rally right there. What are those reads? Uh, I got lucky on two of them. I'm gonna be straight up. I just got lucky on two of them. <laughs> they were some hot reads though. Chat, chat. I know, I know everyone forgot that I'm good at Mario because I've been losing to Iron Bro challenge <laughs> for the last few months, but I'm good at Mario. Oh, fuck. Uh, not as good as Chain Chomp Braden, no. Not as good as Chain Chomp Braden. Uh. Uh, yeah, I mean, my, my apartment smells of rich mahogany. I have many leather-bound books. After this, I'm gonna beat Iron Bros first try. No, Iron Bros is gonna be way harder after this. The reason I haven't been playing is because I wanted to not get bad at Iron Bros. Oh, I just fucked that up. How long have I been stomping Koopas? Uh, I've been playing Kaizo Mario for, I don't know, seven years now. Ah, I screwed up. Jorge Garcia is Mario? You mean Hurley? What about just a silent Mario, Chad? What if he was just silent? Um... What do I want to do there? Yeah, just minion gibberish. I'm not sure what I did there. Sam Richardson from Veep Detroiters? The white guy or, or the other, the not white guy? <laughs> the Detroiter? I, Detroiters is a fucking hilarious show. Either one of them would be okay. I don't know, I mean, it is hard, it is hard. You want someone funny, but. I I don't think casting the Mario movie was easy. It's the same thing with like Link. Like who do you cast as Link? I feel like with Link, you can go with like. You need like androgynous. You need like a preteen boy. To voice link. Oh. Or a deep voice, a deep voiced woman. Yeah. I think I get what I need to do there. Uh, Tom Holland could play Link. He was kind—he of, was my first, but he's got too much. I'm, you know what? I'm getting tired of Tom Holland. 
I'm getting tired of Tom Holland, all right? Uh, when is the text non bops? Yeah. <laughs> My actually Michael Sarah's link would be pretty good. I feel like I feel like if they ever do do a Zelda series, they need to make Link relatively silent though in the series. Okay. Uh I don't think Elliot Page has enough emotion for Link cuz I feel like a Link's an all emotion character. And Elliot's kind of got like permanent like Juno doesn't give a fuckness in all his roles. What? Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you need a, like you want like a young, like if it's like a live action Link, I feel like the look, yeah. But I feel like as a live action Link, I feel like you want a younger actor. Almost like, so almost someone that's like not, you don't even, we, we don't even need to know them yet. Okay, that's what I want to do. I haven't seen Dune, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I was going to say I don't I don't know any actors anymore, so Yeah. Dave Batista's link. Uh, you know what? Actually, Batista could make a really good Ganon. Yeah. Yeah, like I feel that's kind of I feel. I feel like it should be like a random like link link and zelda i feel like need to be more like unknowns you know what i mean batista would actually be a really good ganon yeah he kind of has the face his face kind of already looks like ganon i know doesn't he oh come on i think eater Elba would be a good ganondorf i feel like ganon you need someone kind of like a little bit older Strong, but also like if it's Ganondorf, you need someone that's strong but kind of smooth, you know. Oh shit! Jack Black is Tingle. Okay, well yes, I'm in on that casting. Um. I don't know what I'm doing there. Just do Chris Pratt as everyone. Yeah, Chris Pratt just can voice everybody from now on. Um, I think I gotta bring the... I think I gotta bring that, the block, yeah. Uh, thanks Drew for the sub. Uh, thanks Fridge for the sub. The Chris Pratt Cinematic Universe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Link is a, is a hard... I feel like Zelda is harder. Okay, but like, what do I do next? Anna Taylor Joy's Peach, though. You couldn't make her Zelda and Peach. That'd be ridiculous. He 
Yeah, we're just making her everything? Over back to the left, but that's off screen. Will it still hit? Zendaya is Zelda? I could be down with that. Zendaya, I think with the thing with Zelda, you need them to also be able to play Sheik, too. So that's kind of like, cause like, you would definitely have that storyline in, like if, if you're doing Zelda, you know what I mean? Zeldaya. So you do need a bit of badassness. Yeah, at least in a sequel. A live action Zelda Tom Holland actually would be pretty good at it. The blonde from Euphoria, Sydney Sweeney. Um, she can play whatever she wants, okay? Don't use the bat. How am I supposed to get up then? Oh. Oh, well this changes everything. And then we'll just jump off the bat. All right, cool. That changes things. How do I have my controls on screen in OBS? Uh, it's a program called Nintendo Spy, and then you need a little piece of hardware that connects the controller from the Super Nintendo to your stream. Okay. All right, that makes a lot more sense now, chat. I was doing it the wrong way. There it is. This is a puzzle game, chat. Fuck me. All right. Yeah. Level doesn't work when you go the wrong way. Yeah, nothing I can do. Today would have been your 10 year anniversary if we didn't get divorced. That was awkward. <laughs> uh, Samus Aaron, yeah, I still think Sojourney Weaver. Samus Aaron, we were talking about it and like, I feel like in my mind, like looks wise, it's like Ruby Rose. But I don't think Ruby Rose is like a particularly great actress. Florence Pugh, yeah, someone said Florence Pugh, the other one. That one would actually absolutely fucking work. Uh, or Gwendolyn Christie. Both of those are the ones that I think I like the most. Oh shit. Jennifer Lawrence could work. But I feel like she's too short. And I already know she's short. Whereas Florence Pugh might be short, but I don't feel like she's short yet. <laughs> yeah. A Metroid, I mean, to me, a Metroid movie would be the most compelling thing that Nintendo could do. Like a live action Metroid would be, a PG-13 live action Metroid I think could be extremely compelling from Nintendo, you know? Oh my God, this level's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Whoops. Who? No. Uh, Gina Carano, the girl who compared... <laughs> no. Definitely no. No, she would not... She wouldn't understand... She wouldn't understand the, um... She would not understand the political complexities that is in, uh, Metroid. She'd be like, why aren't we joining the Space Pirates? Mother Brain, Mother Brain seems like a great leader. Yeah. Can't agree with my logic, yeah. Yeah. Also, she just is a shitty actress, so. <laughs> also, she's a fucking ass actress. She's not good at acting. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, I didn't, I screwed up. I'm really good at this. Have I ever thought about doing this for a living? Um, I do this for a, yeah, I mean, I, I thought about doing it for a living. Maybe, give me your Twitch Prime, maybe I can do it. <laughs> Mother Brain makes some compelling points. Yeah, I think you need the right, I feel like with all these characters, you need the right age because like Nintendo characters are frozen in time. What Nintendo character could Pedro Pascal be? Any. He can be anything. I wish they'd find a new. I wish. I wish he could play another Dornish prince in House of the Dragon. Uh, I was gonna say he would actually be really good as as Star Wolf. That was actually gonna be the one I said would be Star Wolf, <laughs> which is funny. Yeah, I want to. I want Pedro Pascal to be a bad guy. Uh no. No. Pedro Pascal is Wario. Damn it. I wish that was a little bit or War Waluigi, sorry. Waluigi. Yeah, it was good. Just, Waluigi is what I meant. Yeah. He'd be good. He'd be good as Waluigi. He would be too good. Danny DeVito as Wario would actually be great. Uh, Gilbert Godfrey's dead, bro. Y'all, stop suggesting dead actors. No! Okay, we need to do, we just need to do a midair shell jump at the end. This is fine and easy. Yep. All right, well now we're done, we're done fantasy casting now. Now we're, now we're just saying the names of actors and characters. Ah! How hard are midairs in SMW? Uh, they're rather difficult. This one's not too bad, though, because your speed, you have speed, so it's not, like, super hard. Have I watched Andor yet? Dude, I haven't even finished Boba Fett yet. I'm, I'm halfway through Boba Fett. I have not watched any Star Wars in, like, since summer began. Andor is way better than Boba Fett. I know, but isn't Mando coming back at some point? Mando's got to be coming back soon, right? I feel like it's been 15 years since I've watched Mandalorian.
Ah! Uh, I haven't watched last night's Hot D yet. No, because my wife was out of town last night. She stayed at her girlfriend's house last night. They went out for uh, her best friend's mom's birthday, and they went on a uh, a wine boat, like a wine tasting boat. And you know, I'm picturing like a like you know like a decent little sized boat. Nah, man, this thing was like fit like eight people, and it had a table. It was pretty funny. Yeah, I heard I heard the last episodes of Boba Fett are literally just Mando episodes. No, you bitch. Uh, I don't know what it was. It was fun. They had a good time. My wife called me. My wife called me drunk. Her and her girlfriends. They seemed like they were having fun. There's a wine train in Napa you've always wanted to try. I've never. I just want to go on like a real train. Like a fancy train where people like sleep on it and you can get drinks and yeah trains seem like they fucking rule do i even need to do this can i just like can i just throw it can i just do a regular shell jump here yeah I just want to ride a train, bring my weed, and not worry about it. That was a joke, chat. Would I tra take the first trip on an American bullet? Listen, I'm not trying to be the first on really any type of machinery, all right? I'm okay being number three on a lot of things. I'm just gonna be real. No! Yes. That was a joke, chat. Yeah. Get the dang midair already? I feel like I'm getting it. I feel like I'm holding on to jump too long. Worst part of trains is the internet's a joke. Ah, enjoy. Enjoy the scenery, you know? Yeah. It's kind of funny because, like, you know, at one point, at one point in my life, the only thing I could do on an airplane was read Sky Mall. And now I'm like, what the fuck? I can't watch Twitch 10,000 feet in the fucking air? What is this absolute piece of shit garbage fucking plane I'm on? Wait, this does not have direct TV? I can't watch live football right now on the fucking, on this plane? Yo, Sky Mall was the shit. Although it obviously went down because nobody was buying anything off of it. But don't tell me, don't lie to me and pretend that you didn't look at Sky Mall when you were flying on a plane. Yeah. Like you're telling me you did not look at Sky Mall when you were doing on a plane? Am I saying that Sky Mall crashed? Dude, there was always like 400 things I wanted in Sky Mall, but would never buy because they're ridiculous. And also, who the fuck is buying things when you're in a goddamn airplane? 
You got your first potato masher fleshlight? Wait. Did you get a potato masher or did you get a fleshlight from Sky Mall? Because I don't... Those are different things. Yeah. Those are way different things. Well, I would love to take a train is what I'm saying. Sky Mall. Uh, speaking of Sky Mall, have you looked at This Is Why I'm Broke? Yeah, but they never have anything good on This Is Why I'm Broke anymore. Yeah. Now instead of Sky Malls, airports are actual malls. Uzumaki. Would I prefer plane? I've never ridden on a train. Yeah, I've just never ridden on a train, so. Like, I've ridden on the subway, you know? Oh, well, that didn't seem fair. Okay, this base is slamming. That base came out of nowhere. You can't hear that base? Do the Alaska Railroad someday? Um, you know, I only really want to go to Alaska if I can snowboard. I don't really have any desire to go to Alaska to do anything else. Um, seems cold. You went to the North Pole? I'm sorry, I can turn up the base. You went on the Santa train last year? The Polar Express? Wait, is that real? Well, yeah, if you're listening on computer speakers, you probably can't hear the bass anyway. But if you're in, if you're on nice headphones. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, no, I never rode the train to like Winter Park or anything when I was in Colorado. No, I never did anything cool. Holy shit, it just, what just happened to the music? Where, I was not ready for this. Uh, Soul Hammer, thanks for 11 months. Oh. This damn song's in Casio? Well, it's a fucking hot banger. Chad, I'm a sucker for shell hacks. Yeah, I'm a basic bitch for shell hacks. It's, I'm, it, shell hacks are my pumpkin spice. <laughs> like, like I, I'm absolutely like, I, shell hacks just always, they hit me. They hit me. I don't know what to do on this part. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know what to do. song is a fucking hot banger, chat. Okay, I think something like that. Uh, I'm in neither of those, actually. Closer to Sacramento. Yeah, lots of people... I've, I know lots of friends that have taken the train from in Sacramento, but yeah, I've just never done it. Okay, fuck that up. Do, 
It's Thanksgiving in Canada? I'm not sure what to do there. Yeah. The music video for this song is on a train too. Is this a real this is a real song? This isn't a video game song. Oh, I need a spin jump right there. Okay. Why can't you just be thankful like the rest of us in November? What does Canadian Thanksgiving celebrate? I mean, like, who's, who did? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> but ours is earlier, so who stole from whom? Mmm. It's good to be Thanksgiving at home because of COVID. Instead of going to your parents' house for Thanksgiving, they cooked and you took it home to eat. Uh, see, that's responsible. That's a nice, responsible way to do it. If your mom's been... Uh, nobody wants to get sick. Getting sick sucks. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, the NFL's been around a lot longer than the Super Bowl's been around. Yeah. Freelance. <laughs> I haven't had, we haven't had, like, a normal Thanksgiving in a long time, yeah. We haven't had, like, a family one in, I mean, I guess a lot, most, most people honestly haven't, but, um... Even before that, it had been like five or so years. Why is this song bang so hard, chat? Damn it. This is a fucking hard hack. What's the world record for this hack, chat? Yeah, always Friendsgiving. Three seconds? I don't think it's that fast. Uh, advanced Shell flashback? This doesn't hurt my hands like Advanced Shells does. Yeah, Advanced Shells wrecked my hands. This doesn't, this isn't nearly as bad. Yeah. 2834. Wonder how long 100% is. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to throw it up, right? Hey, deservedly so. Deservedly so, Jen. Ah, you bitch! I don't know what song this is, but every time you see a dead flying Koopa, you think of Pete. Does it desync on, um, the ads desync on mobile? Oh, fuck, I fucked that up. I think this song's hot fire. Uh, no, not yet, uh, Neko. You guys, the Doug Doug community, um, 
has to I heard they had to donate uh, one million subs and then we get then we get the divorce. No, you bitch. It wouldn't be so repetitive if I just beat the level. I've only been playing this level for like 12 minutes. What do you mean? This shit's hard, chat. I'm fucking slaying this. I'm a goddamn god gamer. When will my kids start streaming? Uh, when he's 13, probably. Uh, but I mean, that's a lot of assumptions that A, he would want to do this, B, that this is even a thing that we do anymore. You want a shoujo collab because she's extremely innocent and that'd be hilarious to you? <laughs> I can't. I know, shoujo's not even 21 yet and I'm like, I don't even think we could bring you to MMC. Or to not, to not MMC. Yeah. You believe streaming's here for life now? Um, maybe, but that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean you'll always be able to make a living off of it. I mean, they're already taking more and more money from us. People are, people are willing to always constantly undercut others for fame instead of cash, you know what I mean, uh, in this industry, so I don't know. Which like, can I be real? More fame sucks. More cash is good. Oh, you bitch. Ugh. When is not MMC? Yeah, I love her too. Uh, Shoujo's amazing. She's a really nice person and uh, a fucking god gamer. Yeah, she's so good. Yeah. It's like I say, moral victories, moral victories feel good, but victory victories feel great. Oh, I screwed that up. Yeah, I like a victory victory over a moral victory. Come on, come on. I got the, oh no, I don't have this. Yeah, this game, this is hard. This, this looks hard. Oh, too high, way too high. Uh, where would I rate my Mario skills in terms of little kid on the wizard? Ooh, um, I'm gonna, not gonna lie. That kid's kind of ass at Mario, but you know what he's way better than me at? Ninja fucking Gaiden. Kid's way better than me at Ninja Gaiden. Went through the game twice without even taking a hit. Do y'all know how hard that is in Ninja Gaiden? On a fucking diner can set up. I watch I watch The Wizard probably like once a year, chat. I know everything about that movie. Oh, you bitch! Oh! A kid found the warp whistle blind. Are we sure he found the warp whistle blind, or did they get that information from the Nintendo Power Hotline early? Because Mario 3 was out in Japan for years before it came out here. 
Yeah, I just don't know. Can't stand Ben Savage? Why? He's just trying to go to California. He just wants to take his little brother to California. What do you got against Ben Savage? Oh. He's not Fred? Oh, it's different? They're different savages? Which one's on Boy Meets World? Whichever one's on Boy Meets World is great. No! There was a shell right there! I should have tried to just throw it and shell and key jump, honestly. All right. Well, yeah, Topanga, Topanga was like everyone's first crush. Like, Topanga, Cory and Topanga gave everyone pretty, my generation, like, yeah, Cory and Topanga gave my generation pretty unrealistic, like, expectations for relationships, I think. Like, I thought every girl would just get back with me after I cheated on them after a ski trip. Y'all, I was so mad at Corey when he did that. Like, I was, like, angry. I remember TGIF, I'm watching it, and Corey's just cheating on Topanga at a ski trip. She's on the ski trip, dude. She's literally just on the mountain. You're right here. It's not even that big a deal. You're not even that far away. Like, Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah. That's not how it works. Chad, I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like we're crushing this. I kind of feel like we were crushing this. How was this pullout game? Uh, very famously, Corey and Topanga waited till uh, marriage. Um, and I remember their wedding, like their wed the wedding episode in Corey and Topanga. It was like, someone was like, oh yeah, here's the key to the hotel room. And Corey like grabbed it and pulled her like really. They ha It was pretty, they made a lot of jokes about how Corey wasn't getting any pussy uh, in the college part of the series. Yes. A lot of jokes. So. Yeah. Have I seen the Samuel Jackson slam poetry about Boy Meets World? I have not. No, I have not. Topanga. Yes. Winnie Cooper, Kelly Kapowski, Topanga, and the Pink Ranger. Mm, yeah, up until up until I discovered Carmen Electra. Up until the first time I watched uh, Baywatch, and then it was like, then my loves changed. But yeah, I would say those are pretty, those are pretty accurate. The ones I was into. The Mount Rushmore of my childhood. <laughs> uh, Chad, I'm really enjoying this game. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this game. This is super fun. Uh, you guys cool? Yes. What's muted? I'm muted? Should be music. I was for a sec. All right, I'll be right back, chat.
All right, chat. I'm about to fuck this shit up. We'll, we'll have our own stream with blackjack and hookers. All right, banger song. Banger song. Banger song. The TikTok stream even still up. My phone died. I think it kills the TikTok stream. Uh, Mimi was your crush from the Wonder Years? Who's Mimi? Wait, why can I do both of these? It's down, the TikTok stream's not up. down it's down um i fucked up there this doesn't look like four by three mario <laughs> i hate you uh what do i do there Because it's 9 by 8, Mario. Yeah. I screwed that up. TikTok went down again. I'll fix it. I'll fix it for Pokemon. Yeah, I'll fix it for Pokemon. Oh, come on. How's the Iron Brothers challenge going? Um... I think tomorrow is going to be the last day of season one of Iron Bros. Ugh. Just did not get enough. Uh, too much iron in my diet. I just think that one I need a break from. Oh. Hope the season finale is better than Game of Thrones. No, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do next week is the season finale of Iron... Season 1 of Iron Bros. Oh. Um... Okay. I'm going to jump, go through the wall, um, hit the on-off switch with a shell jump. Uh, yeah, something of that nature. Am I burned out? No, Iron Mon I love. I love Iron Mon. I'm not burned out on Iron Bros by any means. I just, it frustrates me. Yeah, Iron Bros frustrates me a bit. Because Iron Bros is like, Iron Bros, it's kind of more... I don't know, it just happens so fast. I feel, honestly, this might sound weird, but I feel like I have less control in Iron Bros sometimes than I do in Iron Mon. Yeah. Uh, why doesn't, uh, because Mario Maker is not as fun. <laughs> uh, Mario Maker's, Mario Maker's only fun when you're not playing it all the time. I can't play, it, like, that's what the problem is is that Mario Maker is not a game that I can play every day right now. Like, Mario World, man. I can play this every day, dude. It's so fucking good. Yeah, Mario World's just so good. The physics on this are so good. Like, this hack's gonna have, like, ten things I've never seen before. You know what I mean? Like, already some of these setups are just brand new to me. Bitch. Uh, no, not burnout. Yeah, not burnout, but. 
Yeah, exactly. No, not really burnout. It's just like, man, the Iron Bros, is, it can be depressing sometimes with like some of the ways it ends. Even when it's my fault too. Like, you know, it's, sometimes it's my fault, but it's like not really my fault, you know? Like, how can you, blind reads are hard, you know? I wish there was two switches right there. I mean, I get why there's not, but I wish there was. Going on, Melio Yellow. What's up, girl? Iron Man has more hype and funny moments. Yeah, I think the problem with Iron Man is that sometimes it just takes a while to get off. But when you have a Pokemon, it's fucking hype, you know? But some of those. Uh... Okay. I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, so... Mellow Yellow, how's your day going? Oh, oh this is tough. Yeah, I'm excited about I gotta make seeds oh. once we do once we're done, yeah. Yeah, but once you get past Brock, it's like height. But man. Sunday, Sunday, that was depressing with all the good Pokemon we died. Oops. That was not what I wanted to do. That was not what I wanted to do. Oh, uh, what's going on, Toneko? And you were 27 months. That's a little tough. Oh. Uh, Saturday, sorry, Sunday was my Sunday. chat so i want to pick up this shell throw it left bounce off it again and then pick it up and throw it up this is a whole thing yeah yeah this is a whole thing i i get it though i get it i understand what's going on here i think yeah this is nutty this edm soundtrack this game has this game has a very 1990s first-person shooter soundtrack. Damn it. Okay, never mind. I don't need to throw it. I just need to hit the regular turtle and the shell. How can you read that? Um, I don't know. It's just kind of like, you just kind of, how can you get there? You know, look, here's the tools I have. How can I get over there? Oh, oh, that went a little bit different than I thought it was going to. That went just a little bit different. Some old need for speed vibes. I know, right? Uh, 
Oh, I think I needed that. Um, hey, hey, guys. Yeah, I need that shell. Yeah, this definitely has like 90s arcade racer music. I'm not complaining though. You know I'm a beast at Mario, but all this is legendary. And eh, there's plenty of you know what? This this was legendary. Five years ago it was impressive. Now there's like, I don't know, 30 people or so that can just fucking bang out levels like I can. No! Oh, bitch! Okay, so then we're going to I'm not really sure what we're gonna do after this. It's gonna be on an F0 track. F-Zero tracks are fucking awesome. I don't know why there's not more F-Zero tracks in ROM hacks. Um, I just did too high of a jump there, chat. I... I mean, really nothing else to say. I just did two high jump. We died from high jump. Hmm. You want more Lunky music in my hacks? Dram1, Dram1 Remix has Lunky music. Uh, very welcome. Dude, Don't Keeper's so good. I thought I was supposed to throw that backwards. Not. <laughs> ah, damn it. Okay. Okay. I got this. I got this. start learning the way of the sword and dome keeper yeah i kind of want to do sword only runs for a while but sword the sword and dome keeper is just so hard like i feel like with a sword i have to do um shield in dome keeper but i don't really like doing shield oh jump just jump god damn it i know i feel like the sword's way better if you're skilled with it or if you upgrade it i feel like it's way better than the laser had it. I needed to hit the on-off switch. Am I making a cameo in the Mario movie? Yeah, but I did, but Nintendo deleted my scene. That was actually a really funny joke. If you know my history, that's a great joke. Thank you for 29 months. I hope everything's going well. Typical Nintendo. I know. Hey! 
What? You want to see that bug on my phone? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know where my phone is. So we can't look it up right now. But we can look it up on the computer real quick. But I'm working, so we can. We got to do it real quick. What type of bug is this? Yeah. I think this is just a fly. Isn't that just a fly? Like a fly? I think that's just a fly. You want to look it up real quick and see? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, like that. That's what they look like. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want flies. We don't want to let them in the house, though. They got the big red beady eyes. I want to look at that one. You want to look at that one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Chad. Okay. He's what we do. He gets toys, and then we look up what they really look like. Sorry, Chad. All right. I thought you were gone. I thought you were at the park. That's why I had my door open. Hey, will you go tell Mama that I don't have to go to the airport on Friday, that I go next Friday? Go tell Mama. Here, take your fly. Take your fly. Dude, he's too good. He's too good with the um. He's too good with the door now, chat. I gotta figure something out. Yeah. Can the little dude see chat? Yeah, he understands that like. He understands that my job is people watching me do this. Like he gets that con that part of it, and he gets that all the lines of chat are people. I mean, obviously, I don't think he has the concept of. How many or anything, especially because the biggest number he knows is a hundred. Everything is a hundred. Okay. Um... Oh no! Whiff right there, Chad. Sometimes, sometimes you miss, you know what I mean? It's embarrassing. Oh, okay. No! What the fuck? I thought that was definitely good. I whiffed again. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking superhero? Uh, definitely not. I have no superpower unless that superpower is like having a voice that carries really far and deep. Okay, we're just gonna do it this way. Okay, I fucked that one up. Uh, I don't like... Honestly, I don't like how this is going anyway. Being a dad's a superpower? No. Okay, it's not a superpower that you have working sperm. And bad pullout game? I'm... Let's be real. We're celebrating the bad pullout game. Listen, I love my son. I love my son. Don't clip this, chat. He was an accident. All right? I had just had a real... This is a true story. It was my birthday. I just had a really good uh, run at Calithon. I was feeling very, very frisky. Me and the wife were in a hotel, so we were disrespecting the room. You know how it is when you go to a hotel, you know? I, I want to get, like, it's like a weird jump here because it's not like a full jump. Yeah, I, we ended up with a child.
Yep. It's okay, you were also nice. So was I. I was an accident, too. I got a new, I think I might have a new plan. I'm gonna try and bounce off that second shell. I'm gonna try and do exactly what I'm doing, but bouncing off that second shell too. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. All right, so I need to hit that on off switch. Is Ready Player Two worth reading? I haven't read Ready Player Two yet. I mean, here's the thing with, with Ready Player One and Ready Player Two. They take like a day to read, so I don't think they're that bad in general. Like it's not, books like that are kind of generally like, you already have an interest in it and you got nothing else to read, like why not? <laughs> Your aunt said all three of her cousins were accidents. Ah, by the third one, that's not an accident. That's that's just poor planning. Now nah, we're in there, baby. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. to go the other way though, right? Uh, frisky filth, I don't think you're as cute as you think you are. Uh, what world am I in? Uh, Mario World? Uh, this is World 10. Um, you gotta, you gotta, have you never seen these, these levels? You gotta do some kind of crazy stuff to get to this world. Yeah. Can't believe you beat this as a kid? Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I can't believe that either. Is that a Technicolor flute? No, that's a penis. What do I want to do there? Grab the first shell. Oh. All right, I think you might be right. Oh. Yeah, I think you might be right. Grabbing the first shell. Oh. You didn't want to say anything in case of backseating? Uh... It's not that bad when we're all speculating. Oh. 
Yep, that's what we want to do, chat. That's what we want to do. Alright, we got it. As an accident child, you can't wait to see that clip on TikTok. I know, I can't wait till my mom... My mom, who has a TikTok, I can't wait till she sees that clip. She's gonna just be so happy. Yeah, she's gonna be so fucking pumped about that. Lies. Um, okay. I have to do that backdrop thing. I have to do that backdrop thing there, chat. This is a fucking serious shell hack. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my mom knew that my son was an accident. Yeah, she knew. Listen, she knew there there wasn't a way I was having one without that happening. I don't care, whatever. Like, it's not, it's not a big deal. I should just say the cycle continues. It wasn't out of wedlock, chat. Yeah. Yeah, just because they're an accident doesn't mean you don't love them. You just love them a lot less. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not true. <laughs> uh, I can only make that. I can only make that joke because I'm such a good fucking dad, Chad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't worry, there's too much going on in the Twitch world for me to get canceled today. Or someone, they got people breaking their backs and stuff. Wait, what the hell am I doing here? I don't know what I'm doing on this one. I think I gotta jump off the naked turtle and then throw the shell. Yeah. You wish I would break your back your field? Did you guys see that? So there was a booth at TwitchCon. This has nothing to do with like TwitchCon itself, right? Because when you do those conventions, you know, like there's companies you go through so everyone's legit and like blah, blah, blah. Right, and Adriana Chekchich, I don't know how to pronounce your name right, um, but I'm a fan of her work, been a fan of her work for years, um, and she, among others, went into this foam pit jousting thing at TwitchCon, right, and they ended up Oh shit, did I, did I fuck up still? And she ended up getting uh, seriously injured. Yeah, she ended up getting seriously injured because the foam pit was only about a foot deep and was concrete at the bottom, no mats or anything. Usually there's like trampolines at the bottom of foam pits and shit, you know? And uh, so she jumped off, they were doing a jousting thing. She jumps off lands on her butt and breaks her back in two spots, having surgery, putting a rod in her back. And then after her tweet went out, like a bunch of other creators came out and was like, yeah, this girl dislocated her knee. And then there was like another kid who broke his ankle in the same fucking thing. You know what I mean? There was a bunch of injuries in it, right? Uh, am I gonna submit this to speedrun.com? I mean, this isn't a speedrun right now. Oh wait, I screwed that up. And, uh, so, I mean, like, she could, she could really, in my opinion, like, even more than the other people, Sue, because, like, 
That could affect her other career, you know? Like, you need a good back for that job. Oh, yeah, she's got a case. Someone gonna die. Yeah, exactly. If someone would have dove head first, if someone would have dove head first, they'd be dead. Effect, effect. Yeah. Well, whatever company they hired, it, I think it was an Intel booth, and whatever company they hired to do their booth, because, like, clearly that's like, you know, that's like you hire a marketing company to do it. Oh, uh, it doesn't, dude. There's waivers only, well, waivers only protect you from so much. Yeah, waivers only protect you from so much, so. Oh, I'd sue everybody. Yeah, I mean, and here's the thing, like, the fact that so many people got hurt. Like, if it's one person, whatever, insurance pays for it, whatever. But the fact that, you know, multiple people got badly hurt is not a good sign for it. Yeah. Waivers is more like, oh, they have a heart attack or something like that. You know what I mean? Dude, she's got, her back's broken in two spots. She's got to put a fucking rod in her back. You know? Yeah. They're fucked. I just don't know who made the decision that after someone got hurt, that after someone had to go to the hospital, who made the decision to keep running it? You know what I mean? Like, that's that's what blew my mind. After the first person, I would have been like, you know what? We messed up here. Wait a second on that. Yeah, the announcer, the announcer was like, oh, she's fine, ladies and gentlemen, she's fine. It's like, fuck no, she's not, dude. I think I throw the blue shell left. I'm starting to think you're right that I throw the blue shell left, and that's what the coin is indicating. Yeah. You're starting to think I'm left? I don't know. I don't know what would give you that idea. Uh, is this an orange red bull? Yeah, it's the summer one. It's, I think it's my last case of summer, so. Damn it. Uh, I haven't had the winter one yet. Um. Yes, but don't you have faith in the foam pit? What if someone, okay, they're jousting on that, right? What if someone got knocked off and landed on their, like, head first, right? Like, straight up, like, they're doing the little jousting. What if someone did one of these? Yeah. Yeah, and walking and falling are just two different types of force. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that guy works for the insurance company. <laughs> Bud Lighter's an insurance agent. He's like, I don't know, man. No, all in all, it was, um, it was poorly made. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's the ultimate thing. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, it's not just her, though. I mean, like, there's also a guy that broke his ankle. There's also a guy that broke his ankle and another girl that dislocated her knee, dude. Yeah, so, I mean, there's... It's not like there's... It's one thing if there'd be one injury from it, but there was a bunch of injuries from it. You know what I mean? So... Ah... Uh, I'm trying, TJB. Have you played this one yet? I'm assuming you have. As a fellow shell junkie. Your state is getting too hot. It's pretty hot in Northern California, right now, honestly. Oh, come on, that one should have worked. Yeah, I've been around a lot of foam pits and I've never seen anyone get hurt. So, so yeah, I mean, it's clear, it was clearly the fact that three people got hurt. Um, and I've seen a lot more gnarlier things than jousting on them. So in my opinion, I think it's pretty safe to say. I also think it's safe that like, you have faith that like, it's such a big conference, it's a big company doing it. You got, right? You put a little bit of faith in those companies that they've done their due diligence because they don't want to get sued. But either way, I feel like it's going to be a very large lawsuit. Yeah. Would be my guess. Oh, come on. What is this bug? What is, you know what that bug is. You wanna see this bug? Okay, but this is the last one, okay? This is the last one, all right? You were just banging on my door, bud. I thought you were gonna kick it down. What bug is that? Show, can you show me? Uh, show me what bug it is. It is a ladybug. It's a ladybug. Well, you already know what ladybugs look yeah. like. Yeah, you already know what ladybugs look like. I love you so much, bud, but I, mm, mm, we gotta work. I gotta work, I'm sorry. Is that, you know how you afford cool toys like that, ladybug? Yeah. It's from all these wonderful people that are watching me, and they want a show. I'm sorry. Sometimes I got to work. Which ladybug do you want to look at? Look, um, there's just a bunch of different ladybugs. I want them all to look at uh, all those ladybugs. These ones? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there's a look. You see that black one? I think yeah. that black and red one's really cool. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. He kind of looks like Spider-Man, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah? You like that one? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Will you shut my door, please? I love you, bub. I know. I know. I hate work chat. Whose idea was it that we leave our children and go make a living for them every day? Like we go provide for our kids by leaving them and ignoring them? Whoever came up with that concept is ridiculous. Kids should just come pre-fed. Oh, come on. I'm such an idiot. Take my kid to the coal mine day? It's really hard for him because I'm here, you know what I mean? Like, if I was at real, if I was at regular work, it'd be easy. But, like, instead, it's just to him, I'm like, just being a dick. Yeah. Oh, come on. I hate that one. 
Why do I have a picture of your wife on my shirt? Uh, it's, it's, I went and put on my Topanga shirt as we were talking about Topanga. Oh, come on. Damn you, nature. I know. Um, do I want to just shell jump right there? I feel like I want to shell jump right there, right? No, he knows this is work. It's funny because he sees, when he sees people on the computers, he says, they're working. And when he plays video games, like when he plays video games, he goes, dad, stop, I'm working. Yeah. So he knows, like he knows. This is that, and he understands the concept of like, we have to work to get things. Oh, oh come on. Your 12-year-old narrates every game because he sees the way the streamers play? That's actually really funny. Oh. He'll be good at it, though. Honestly, though, like, I don't think gaming, playing video games on the internet is, like, just chatting is the biggest thing on Twitch, and hot tubs is like number two, you know what I mean? Oh, come on. Does people want to connect? Are we not connecting? Do you not feel connected? You just saw an adorable moment with my child. I think people like the drama. Yeah, I think it's the drama. It's TMZ of internet stars. Damn it. Or the titties. Well, dude, there's so many. There's titties everywhere. There's literally, if it's just about the titties, you would just go somewhere else. Find titties. You can just go to my free hands for titties. I mean, yes, pretty people are good to look at. People enjoy looking at pretty people. Oh. Is thing. This is some hot shell action. You're goddamn right it is. Oh, whoops. Chess drama's been annoying. Okay, the chess drama I can't get enough of. The only thing is, like, no, uh... I don't think the anal beads thing is holding up, chat. No, come on! Fuck you, Jackal Travel. Fuck you. Out of all the celebrity lookalikes, I don't want to be... You look like the Jeffrey Dahmer character. Uh, I like Bray. Um, I'm happy to have Bray back. Yeah, I'd prefer not to have that one if possible. Am I from Detroit, so am I a hockey fan? Yes. But mostly just the wings. Like, I don't watch the entire NHL. You know what I mean? Like, I watch the entire NBA, I watch the entire NFL. I don't watch the entire NHL. I'm mostly just watching the wings. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, Third World? No, fuck y'all, man. I don't look like... I, there's no celebrity that I look like. They all, maybe a few of them look like me, but how many exits have I completed? I think four, three, four, five. Somewhere in that range. I don't know. I can't remember if this is a new level or if this is a checkpoint. Damn it. 
Damn it! Kind of look like Grand Pooh Bear. Hockey's the only sport you pay attention to. Uh, I'd probably pay most attention to the NFL and the NBA. Okay. 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 Clearly I did a few things wrong there. I think I needed to hit that on the shell jump. He looks like me with some hair. All I'm hearing, chat, is that I'm good enough looking to be an actor. That's that's all I'm hearing, okay? I'm good enough to not just be an actor, but the lead actor. That's all I'm hearing. Clearly. What's better at a barbecue, burgers or hot dogs? Hot dogs. Clearly. Why do folks say shell hacks hurt their hands? Because they hurt their hands. What do you mean? Because they're very demanding on the hands? I, I, yeah, what? <laughs> because they hurt your hands. Are you asking why they hurt your hands? Um, lots of movements. Um, most people hold the controllers pretty hard. The main thing of it. Um, keeping your hand in very awkward positions, which Nintendo kind of is an awkward position anyway for people with grown adult hands. Um, and you also have to do a lot of awkward positions on shell jumps with your hands. And then you're doing one or one or two levels for hours and hours and hours, keeping your hands in the same, like, cockeyed weird spot sometimes that really fuck you up. Um, also, the buttons, like, rip your thumb apart um, in shell levels. Um, yeah, I don't know. Same reason you get, it's like, it's like doing, getting carpal tunnel on. It's like, it's like, uh, people, you know, you work in an office for 10 years, you get carpal tunnel. It's like that on hyperdrive, though. You know? Uh, Gabriel, thank you so much. Am I worried about carpal tunnel, finger tunnel? Nah, I'll just play with my feet. No, you bitch. Who plays tonight? Kansas City and um Oakland? Kansas City and Oakland? Uh I got Kansas City. Oh, sorry, Vegas. I call them Oakland. <laughs> I call them Oakland. <laughs> I've been calling the Chargers San Diego. Hi. San Diego Super Chargers. Uh, Kansas City tonight. Yeah, you got it. Kind of got to take Kansas City. Um, uh, but this is a game that, like, the Raiders win in the past. Like, the Raiders have played Kansas City pretty well over the last few years. And divisional games, anything can happen in divisional games. So, I, I mean, like, I, if the Raiders won, I wouldn't be surprised. But, I mean, you got to take Kansas City on a straight money line bet right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the Minneapolis Lakers was a bit longer ago than the Oakland Raiders. And I live next to the Bay, so... They'll always be Oakland to me. Does Vegas have a home field advantage? Um... 
I mean, if I was going to want to visit one away stadium, right? I feel like that's a pretty good one to visit. Yeah. Oh, bitch. You need Carter outscore. Uh, you need Mahomes to outscore Carter and Jacobs by two points. Do you have a chance? Oh yeah, you have a good chance. I think. I mean, I can see this game going a lot of different ways. No, bitch. Yeah, I think that's the like the big thing about going to a away game in Vegas is you can get a direct flight from everywhere. Do I think Draymond Green should be fined or arrested? I don't think he should be arrested. I think it's up to the team, you know what I mean? What team has the best momentum? Momentum's not real. Uh, I think the Ravens are Super Bowl contenders. I think the Bills are Super Bowl contenders, obviously. I think if two is healthy, the Dolphins are Super Bowl contenders. Um, I think Kansas City's Super Bowl contenders. AFC's pretty stacked. I think Philly is definitely number one in the NFC. Um, damn it, I need to do that early. Uh, Daxter, yeah, I, I don't, I kind of agree that I don't, I wouldn't be mad if two had never played again. I think the Finns are kind of fucked, too. Um, and they're really fucked if Tua never plays again because they don't really have a way to go get a quarterback. The Vikings are good. No, the Vikings are really good. Um, I think here's the thing about the Vikings. Justin Jefferson is, is ungodly great, and their defense is adequate. So, the Vikings are fine. Justin Jefferson's gonna make Kirk Cousins a lot of money in his life. Yeah. Damn it, I can't get this good one. I can't get a good one. Uh, the Lions suck. It's probably accurate for. Yeah! Uh, everything's good. Looking forward to the next Zaddy Endurance race. Got to talk to Bo. I'd rather have Kurt Cousins than Russell Wilson, yeah. I wish there was one more, um, one more thing. Uh, I think the Giants are just really well coached. How is Cousins paid so highly? Because who else are you going to go get? Yeah. I'm just bad at those drops, chat. That's it? Oh, that's it? All right. I was right there at the end the whole time. I win, I win. All right. Cool. Cool. Way to go me. Way to go me. Guitar. Uh, thank you, Bosto, Densov, Daxter. Uh, Chat, are you all happy that we're back, that we have some ROM hack action back? Is everyone, is everyone happy and content with that? Is everyone happy? I'll play again in four months. I'll play again in four months.
Oh, do we have an Iron Mon? No, we don't have an Iron Mon. You're obsessed with watching Iron Mon, so nothing else matters to you anymore? Dramax, perfect game. Well, I'm not done with, um, I'm not done by any means with uh, the other one. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get some Iron Mon going here. Rom hack to Iron Mon, perfect transition. Shells are good, chat. I I miss uh, I miss shell jumping a lot. That was something I, I greatly miss. Um Iron Man is almost addicting as no pixel. It's it's just it's just because like we could be there. Like we could we could be ready, you know what I mean? Like we could be good. Uh, man, chat. Sometimes, sometimes someone gets to be the biggest streamer on Twitch for a day, and the reason why is because. Um, Iron Man is addicting. Iron Man is addicting. I know. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Bum bum bum. To catch them is my real test. How permanent is your setup? Any wires to the walls? Any extra outlets put in? Um, uh, well, we built this house. There was a couple things in this room. Like, I have outlets. Like, right behind this TV is an outlet. Um, got uh, right back here, I have four internet wires. Four hard wires in. Um, yeah, I mean, this room was built for me, you know? Uh, oh shit, okay, so I need to, real quick chat, I have to download the, okay, I'm definitely not downloading a ROM right now, chat. Uh, do, 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 searching far and wide. These Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Oh, I oh, see, I need to rename it. Pokemon underscore fire red dot TBA. And then we replace this, replace the file in this destination. Okay. And now I need to delete all the seeds that I've ever made in my entire life. Delete those. 